Hey guys and welcome to USA, USA. So in today's video we're going to have a look at another Wrestlemania poster uh, This is a Wrestlemania poster that, that I, I, I love I think it's absolutely brilliant um, And we're going to go back to Wrestlemania 7 This is the last time we'll see Andre the Giant at Wrestlemania It's the first time that we see The Undertaker compete in the ring at Wrestlemania as well um, so this is the start of the streak. Uh, as well as that, you've got Macho King, Randy Savage going up against the Ultimate Warrior um, in a retirement match, uh, which uh, the Macho King goes on to lose. Um, but the, it's all about the main event. Uh, and the main event is Hulk Hogan, uh, the All-American, Real American, um, going up against Sergeant Slaughter. Uh, who at this point in his career is a, an Iraqi sympathiser. You've got to remember that we are bang in the middle of the Gulf War, uh, the original Gulf War, and so uh, tensions are obviously quite high. Uh, so to play on that, Sergeant Slaughter, who had been the real American uh, before Hogan, um, decided to change and switch sides and so this is a this is a real clash uh, at WrestleMania 6 Hogan had dropped the belt to Warrior but it hadn't worked out um, you know Warrior was a, a very demanding individual um, the, the kind of buy rate uh, and the success of him as a champion wasn't at the levels of what they'd seen with Hogan so uh, a plan was put together to, to put the belt back on to Hogan uh, so Warrior dropped the title at Royal Rumble and now we find ourselves at Wrestlemania Wrestlemania 7 and it is Hulk Hogan uh, the real American uh, going up against the um, Iraqi sympathiser uh, Sergeant Slaughter so how do they sum this up um, there's so many different matches different angles obviously they didn't know that this was going to be the beginning of a streak and whatnot they potentially didn't even know this would be the last time we'd see Andre uh, at Wrestlemania so there's a few things there which you know I can understand them not advertising but uh, this is the poster the superstars and stripes forever uh, you've got a, a jacked up Hulk Hogan planting the American flag looking something like some out of the military like he's claiming uh, this land is claiming WrestleMania 7 as his, as his own um, you know he's this is a this is a man of the people this is a guy that's going to go out there and do it for the American people and bring that title back um, you know this is like warfare this is America going up against Iraq they found a way of putting all of that into a match and so the poster obviously plays on that kind of national pride and bang in goes the flag I mean you can see Hogan on this picture it's, it's obviously a drawing but the way he's been drawn is he's you know, on steroids and god knows what else uh, you know miracle grow he's, uh, he's, he's ripped to shreds um, it's, it's, it's propaganda in a way you know if this wasn't for a wrestling match you'd be concerned um, but it's yeah you know it's absolutely brilliant and I love it because it, it plays on that uh, kind of national pride in this poster he's got red leggings on uh, he doesn't compete in those um, later on in his career he does um, but uh, for this match he's he's just got the uh, traditional yellow trunks um, the kind of late 80s early 90s Hogan is known for and I can tell you that he's victorious, obviously, and there's the big celebration at the end. Um, so, as a WrestleMania, this was a, this was a brilliant WrestleMania. Really, you know, if you get a chance to go back and watch it, um, it is it is absolutely fascinating. Um, it's a really strong card, uh, and this match was was decent enough. If you've watched other videos in this series, then you'll know I always judge a poster by if you took the text away and you just had it as an image is that something you'd be pleased to have up on your wall uh, and be pleased to show people and I just think this sums you know Hulk Hogan up to a T um, this is this is absolutely what he built his career on uh, was being a man of the American people and standing up for the right things and basically going to war um, and so uh, and look don't get me wrong I was never a huge Hulk Hogan fan um, you know a lot of that kind of American Americana obviously washed over me because I'm not American um, but I understood what he was fighting for and I understood what he was about and I appreciated what he was fighting for and what he was about and obviously I wanted to see him uh, victorious in this match um, and it plays on that and it does a, it does a damn fine job 
Um, if you care about America, if you care about Hulk Hogan, if you care about um, seeing you know this man win and our country win, and well, you can do that by tuning into WrestleMania Seven. Cool. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, don't forget you can follow me on Twitter at Wrestling Days UK. And uh, if you haven't already, it'd be ace if you could subscribe to the channel so that I know that you're not going to miss out on any future videos. And uh, I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.